and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here i'm Jahan, and today i'm going to be talking to you about a hygiene routine that makes you smell good all the time so if you want to hear more stick around and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you're hearing i start off my routine in the morning so i shower i do shower every day um, it makes me feel good especially if i've gone to work i have to shower before i get into bed it's, it, this is just for me personally, but obviously I've used public bathrooms and public transport and the idea of going from being in public transport and using public re bathrooms and restrooms, that kind of thing, and then going into my bed is just a massive no-no for me. So I have to shower every day and um, this is a shower routine that I use to smell really good and I get compliments on my scents and my smells and that kind of thing. I'm not going to talk too much about perfumes because um, that is a niche that I don't know loads about. I just like what I like. But let me talk to you about the shower space. The first thing that I do is actually scrub my body and I do that every day and I use soap. So the soap that I use is this Australian Botanicals goat milk soap. So anyone who has been around for a while can will know that I have experimented with lots of soap and my, the soap that I prefer to use is goat milk soap because of the lactic acid in here so it gives your skin a nice exfoliation and I'm not precious or tied to this brand in particular. There are some wonderful Etsy sellers that sell goat's, goat milk soap and they are absolutely beautiful. There's Chuckling Goat as well, who sells some beautiful goat milk soap as well, make your skin feel absolutely wonderful. The reason why I've got this one is that when I was in Costco, I bought them in a massive bulk pack for 12 pounds and it was really good value and it's a really lovely soap. This is in a natural scent, I think this one. Yeah, it's like, it's very lightly scented. But I know this brand do do raspberry scents and all sorts of scents as well, but this is what was in Co Costco. And I really love this one. And it's made in Australia, the soap it says on the back too. So yeah, I, I really enjoy using this soap. And what I use to lather everything up and scrub up my body is one of these scrubbers. Now, I've been using these since I was a child. My mum has always bought us these. And they are by a company called Maddox. And we used to get them from John Bell and Croydon, the um, pharmacy that's in central London near Wigmore Street around there. And these are absolutely fantastic. They're pretty rough. You soak them, they get a little bit softer, but they really, really scrub your body clean. And this is what I use just to exfoliate myself literally from top to toe, obviously not on my face, but just really scrub myself with soap just to get any kind of scent or dirt or sweat, anything off my body. Because one thing I realized very quickly is that shower gels, they don't wash your body, I don't think, and anything moisturizing really doesn't actually really properly cleanse your body. It's really similar to when you want to cleanse your hair and you have to get rid of products and product layering and all that kind of stuff, and you want to cleanse your hair and then you shampoo and condition it because you want to just give it that deep cleanse. It's a similar thing that I've, I get have with my skin. So I like to really scrub and cleanse my body so I've got a base layer. And usually this soap, I usually go for like the most unscented soap, to be honest, for here or I pick the matching soap to the rest of my scents, which I'm gonna go into next. So this is what I use to scrub my body. And you could use things like exfoliating gloves as well if, you're, if they're easier to get hold of. What I don't like is those kind of puffy loofers. I'll put a picture on the screen. I just think they harbor so much bacteria. They don't really get, ever get dry. That core bit in the middle, very often I see them, they start to look gray and I think that's just mold developing. I don't like those, I think they're smelly. And you can also put these things in the wash as well if you wanna put them in the washing machine and just to give them a cleanse and then you can change them every six months to a year or so. They last a really long time. So once I've done that cleansing layer and my friend was laughing at me. It's like, how long are you in the shower for? It's really not that long. Um, you get used to it when you do a routine. I then like to get my body wash and shower gels and that kind of thing. And what I like to do is I like to match my shower gels and my body lotions together because I like to moisturise when I get out of the shower. And the, for example, the one that I'm loving at the moment, and I've got lots, is this Molten Brown in raspberry and rose it's one of their newer scents i absolutely love it it smells absolutely delicious the raspberry the raspberry the rhubarb kick that you get from this when you first put it on it's like almost like um those um custard cream 
custard, rhubarb and custard sweets that you get. It's got that lovely scent, but then it's got the maturity of the rose that kicks in and it's not like a powdery rose. It's a really beautiful rose scent. I absolutely love this. So I use this and when I wash myself with this, with the shower gel, I use, and I put a picture up because the one I've got in my shower is very, very wet at the moment. I didn't want to bring it down. But I use almost like one of those African sponges with hexagonal shapes like this. I'll put a picture up. So you only need to put a little bit of this on because the hexagonals and the, all the holes along this long strip of material means that when you use these kind of body washes, it lathers up loads. And so that's what I use as my starting to create my scent and I put that on the base layer of my skin and that's what's starting to create the perfume or the scent that I want to wear for the rest of my day. Now, if you're looking for matching body washes, moisturizers, body sprays, that kind of thing, the Body Shop is your friend. So I have the Spiced Orange Body Wash and Body Butter and that scent carries loads. And then I pair it with Blue and Cheyenne Blue's Blood Orange Perfume. And that together, it just creates a layer of scent. The Body Shop have the Almond one, which I use a body cream, body wash cream, and then the body butter. And um, I can use more of a neutral perfume, so I can put other perfumes with that and it will match really well. So if I just want something that makes my skin smell nice, but I want to use a different perfume on top, then that's one I've got as well. I've also got the, um, it, what's, what is it? It's the Japanese rose one. No, not Japanese rose. The Japanese, um, the cherry blossom. I've got the Japanese cherry blossom body wash, a soap bar and moisturizer and body spray, the perfume. So that really helps layer each that scent over and over and over again. So it long, it's long lasting on your skin. So if you want something where you're gonna match your body wash and your moisturizers, the Body Shop is your friend and it's very affordable. They're often doing deals and the quality of their products are, are beautiful. Like their moisturizers and body butters, everyone knows how great they are. They just feel lovely on the skin. Back to where I was. So after I've showered, and done this and use this body wash as my first layer of scent then as I mentioned I will go in with the matching body cream and this body cream is obviously the rhubarb and rose body lotion and I'm much more of a body butter kind of person but this body lotion is incredibly moisturizing and using these two together I started to layer up my scent and my skin's starting to smell nice and you can really smell it start to smell it on my skin but in a very subtle kind of way so anybody is coming slightly closer or it just helps the next thing last even longer because it's just it's just layered on your skin so i really love having these two matching and then after that what i do is i put on the matching perfume so this is the uh the toilet and it comes in a de parfum as well and this is the rhubarb and rose i absolutely oh, i love that smell because it's just it's not too sweet it's kind of warm it's fruity it works all year round um the rose really helps it mature it but not in a kind of granny smell way but just in a sophisticated way it's very lovely it's very chic i love this and i love their bottles they've changed their bottles molten brown they used to be quite basic and they've added these on top and the eau de parfum's got a different bottle as well it's very lovely and so i add this on top and these three together this combination of body wash lotion and matching perfume really kind of elevates the smell it makes it last a really long time it smells your skin smells really beautiful it comes right through and that's literally my hygiene routine that helps me smell really good all day obviously there's things like deodorants and deodorants i think are very personal i actually just use glycolic acid under my arms and on the odd occasion i do use deodorant i use something that's aluminium free um but with these things together and scrubbing with soap honestly scrubbing with soap first is a real game changer you will notice that you will smell better and you'll feel fresher as well i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to subscribe do share give like comment down below what's your shower routine do you do something like this do you agree disagree or what do you do um, to keep yourself smelling fresh and beautiful all day i hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and i will see you in the next video take